when we were really thinking about a title for the textbook, um, you know, we, uh, we looked at each other and said, you know, what's really important in a, for a course that is designed to uh, teach students how to develop their own arguments um, and share their own perspectives? I mean, that's the goal of the AP English language course. So what's really important in there? And we looked at each other and we said, ideas. <laughs> it's, it's about ideas. Uh, and so we uh, wanted to make sure that that really uh, was clear. And so we titled the book Ideas in Argument. Um, and, and someone might say, well, what do you mean by ideas? Because we have in our course framework, big ideas about rhetoric. And certainly we're going to build those over right. the course of the, uh, of the year. But those are not really the ideas that we were talking about in the title. We were thinking about ideas that are important to all of humanity, to the world. Um, things like democracy, patriotism, sustainability, justice, faith, uh, these ideas that um, that people are always talking about, they're in conversation about, uh, and that are often debated, things that people build arguments uh, about and around. Okay. Um, and, and so we said, ideas, that's what we have to focus on, and that's what we're helping students bring their own ideas to the forefront. Uh, and we're doing it through, through, a, through a textbook. And so with that ideas in the textbook, we thought, how do we generate those ideas? How do we get students to generate those ideas? Well, we choose texts that we know resonate with ideas. We, and we tie that into our, into our practice so that the students are constantly reading for subjects and topics, but we're also pushing them to see the idea so that they can build their own perspective. The goal of this is to build that perspective to be able to join the conversation about justice, to be able to talk about democracy. And so while they may be reading a piece uh, that is about politics or, you know, we want them to see that it, ultimately the argument is about justice. Ultimately, it's about democracy. So we're moving from topic or Absolutely. subject to idea. Yes. We know that, that one place that students sometimes go wrong is that they, they focus too much on the concrete topic and not right. enough on the subject of the, the, larger, of the essay. larger concepts. And, and that wasn't where we stopped. We went even a little further with that. Well, ultimately, we want to build complexity in their understanding of reading and their, their own writing. And so if we're only focusing on subjects and trying to find facts and information out of what we're reading, we're never going to get to that deeper understanding. We may not ever understand the other perspectives that are available around the idea. So to make idea at the forefront is ultimately building students' complexity of understanding and understanding of complexity, both, and, and then finally, the complexity of their own arguments. When they grapple with other perspectives on an idea, then they may begin to have a deeper understanding of their own perspective, perhaps even alter their perspective somewhat, depending on um, what they learn and find out and how they now perceive an idea.